Interesting finding was that the the the, the first three quartiles of metriuretic peptide uh, elevation uh, actually had uh, uh, even more impressive uh, benefit in terms of uh, the primary endpoint, give or take about uh, twenty percent or so. Uh, but the highest quartile of NT pro BNP uh, did not seem to benefit, uh, which sort of raises the question uh, whether the sickest of the sick patient. Uh, perhaps are too sick to benefit, and if the therapy uh, would have been uh, only in, in, in a group of patients, uh, excluding the the top quartile, the top quartile, uh, the results will be uh, even more uh, impressive. Uh, now we have to take this with a, with a, uh, with caution. These are secondary analysis, uh, and uh, whenever you do these secondary analysis, uh, there's always a, a, a potential for a chance finding. Uh, but it really stands out. That if you look at the quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three, uh, you see substantial benefit. Uh, and if anything, in the quartile four, the point estimate goes in the opposite direction, and you don't see uh, any benefit. So that's one subgroup uh, that stands out. Yes, yeah, so there is a sister study that was also done in uh, uh, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction called Vitality uh, Study. Uh, it was not a morbidity mortality study, but rather a study looking at uh, quality of life and functional capacity. Uh, so those results will be coming out, uh, I would assume, shortly. <laughs>